what's going on dsg it's your boy donna bradley back at y'all another video and today we got mary jane watson the most toxic woman ever yo erin on anime um look there are facts in the title <laughs> let alone the video bro there be facts in the title like oh my goodness like i don't i don't like i said i don't i, I don't follow the comics like that I'm more of the the mcu stuff or just the Marvel movies even before that. And then from then I had gone to the comics. But from anything I've... Like Mary, the, the leapfrog and the, We just gonna let Aaron do it. Because I'm very sure he gonna go over it all. So be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. We ain't hear that any further. But don't. 3, 2, 1. Click. I'm about to talk to you about the most toxic woman who ever Straight lived gave her on the biohazard. By the name of Mary Jane Watson. Now, if you don't know who Mary Jane Watson is, she's the main love interest of the spectacular, the amazing, the true red, black, and blue Spider-Man, Mr. Peter Parker. <laughs> My boy Just falls in love with Mary Parker. Jane. He thinks she the one. She's beautiful. She fine. Her fashion shit is actually well, terrible. But he's like, yo, this is a fine woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my boy Peter Parker decides this is somebody he wants to pursue. Now, the Mary Jane we talking about, we're not talking about the one from the comics. We're not talking about the one from the movies. Or from the editor. <laughs> so we're talking about the one specifically from the 1990s. And so that means she toxic no matter what verse she is, because she was toxic as hell in them movies. <laughs> I don't know what kind of toxicity she got in the comics, man. She is a straight biohazard, fam. Biohazard. So it don't even matter what you're talking about. It's just toxicity, period. All right, let's go. And made it serious. And Shorty is by far the most toxic woman of all time. And when I say that, it leaves a lot to be, you know, well, how can she be the most toxic? Did she try to kill him? Did she do this? Bro, so Pete, number one, Mary Jane knew that Peter had feelings for her. Now, I ain't gonna say our boy Peter had a clean slate. My boy was out here getting, you know, some spider poo nanny. Cause he had shorties like black cat and all that throwing it at him, right? The issue is now, mind you, this is all off of memory. Him and Mary Jane, their memory. relationship, it, it was oh, I want to be with you, oh, I can't be with you, oh, I gotta be a hero. It was a lot of stuff going on. Their relationship for the first part never really flourished like that. It was always something going on and coming in between them, right? Well, you fast forward, it don't work out, they falling apart, whatever, or it doesn't get serious. She start dating this man best friend, Harry Osborne, right? I mean, that's accurate to the movie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, the movie accurate to, yeah, bro. Like, it, she, she made the best friend move. She, she made the best friend move. It don't matter. She's just, she's all, no matter what universe, she make the best friend move. Or it doesn't get serious. She start dating this man best friend, <coughs> Harry Osborne, right? Look at the top of his head. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I look at <laughs> Harry, I'm like, yo, Harry, a L man's for real. And the reason why I L say Harry or L man is your boy got feelings for MJ and you still out here like, uh -huh, that's a, that's ass, I'm a smash. Now granted, get it, but it, it's a certain level of loyalty that I personally feel is required there that Harry didn't have for him. Harry was a hoe. Like, I mean, was, neither, neither, like one was supposed to be the best friend, one was supposed to be the close, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you swimming with snakes, bruh. Peter was over here trying to be a superhero while swimming with snakes. What, what, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. Like, nah, I want this butt. And I already, I'm already the richest man in the world. I got my daddy and all this. But now I'm about to munch on this. She could rob my face. I don't want nothing in return. Start punching on it. Start clapping the cheeks to end. Cool. Whatever. Everybody has the right to do what they want to do. I'm just saying, bro, he's a bad man. But it even falls on her because you know, you could kind of tell that Peter had feelings for her. And she didn't care. She didn't care. It was, hey, too much going on. Really don't want this, so boom, I'm gonna shell up with Harry. Stuff start happening, her and Harry fall off. It don't work out. Her and Peter rekindle, reconnect. They they talking, they like, hey, let's see, let's see what's up. Let's see if, you know what I'm saying? But Pete, you mm. dated my boy, and now you trying to come back to me. Mm. She belongs to the streets. To the streets, let them know, let them know, let them know, let them know, no lies. No lies. A little bit of this responsibility does, in fact, fall on Peter because why are you chasing used goods? Shorty didn't build. That boy said, Why are you chasing used goods? Yo. Dang. Yup. Hey. Hey. Call it what it is, boy. Call it what it is. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody making good choices. <laughs> nobody making good choices. A little bit of this responsibility does, in fact, fall on Peter because why are you chasing used goods? Shorty didn't build with your mans. That's a relationship that's dead. Even though you and your boy, after a certain turn of events, that's no longer your boy, that's still goods. You don't I, you don't mess with that. Peter, hmm? nevertheless, like, cool. I'm going to make this work. Boom. I'm going to marry you. I'm, I want this, right? Through a series of events, Peter is shooting the shot. 
he, the, the relationship is growing. She growing feelings for him. He growing feelings for her. They get cooler and cooler. He revealed to her, hey, I'm a Spider-Man. I love you. I want to be with you. I'm going to always do whatever I got to do to protect you. I want you to be, you know what I'm saying, my wife. At a moment like this, you know what I'm saying, most people be like, hell yeah. Or yes, I'll marry like, you. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Something, something sweet and sentimental and from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Something that's like full of emotion. Let me tell you how toxic this bitch is. She's like, okay, run it. Jump off that hole. Oh, like, God, bro. I see that episode. It's like I wanted to make sure. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Oh, not in a million years. Bitch, you crazy. You crazy. I'll give a fuck, bro. All right. Let me tell you how toxic this bitch is. She's like, okay, run it. Jump off that hole. Like, I'm like, <laughs> jump like Kratos. This nigga, Peter, Mary Jane, jump off. Save her. And he's like, why'd you do that? She's like, I just wanted to make sure you can always be able to save me. And nigga Peter like, oh, Mary Jane, of course I would. Huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> that, <is> crazy. <laughs> that part. Nah, 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 fam. Not in the mid Oh, hell no. Nah. You got to go. You got to go. I'd be staring at her like, damn. Why you do that? <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't about to play me, fam. Mm -mm. You played yourself right off the end of this building. You're like, oh my God. Shorty is toxic. She literally just jumped off a building. Bro, that's the dumbest thing ever. That's not romantic. That's stupid. What if I <laughs> jumped stupid. off and the villain came out of nowhere and cleaned your clock? Now we got a whole nother Gwen Stacy. Oh, and it's damn. like, damn, you was with my man. Now you doing this crazy ass, toxic ass shit, jumping off a building <laughs> for me to prove my It's funny he says you was with my man. <laughs> Then you started doing the toxic shit. <laughs> oh, God. This ain't a fucking circus. I shouldn't have to prove shit to you. Peter oh. was like, nah, I still want to marry you. I still want to be with you. You still the one for me, girl. Well, boom. We fast forward. We got a situation where our boy Green Goblin is now part of the story. And Green Goblin like, hey, man, I'm about to do some dastardly shit. I just want to be a bad guy. In the midst of all this shit, of uh, Spider-Man trying to stop this nigga from doing this stupid shit, a portal opens up. Guess who dumbass get caught in it? Mary Jane. <laughs> Wait a second. Guess who? Yo, he roasted on her head, top boy. He said, guess who dumbass get caught in it? <laughs> yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. Shh, to be real, I haven't watched that Spider-Man series in some, whoo, I don't want to say decades, but like, but yo, oh man, <laughs> Peter irritated as hell. <laughs> Portal opens up. Guess who dumbass get caught in it? Mary Jane. You <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Now, our boy Peter like, damn, it can't end like this. I was just about to marry you. Now, what I'm going to do? This nigga got to then cross galaxy to go into the first ever Spider-Verse to find this one. Madam Webb show up like, hey, pimp, you want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to get your shorty back. What we first got to do is to make you the best Spider-Man ever. We got to grow you as a person, and then we going to get your shorty back. This nigga literally goes into the Spider-Verse, stops other Spider-Mans from being evil, meet Uncle Ben, all this other shit. After all this happened, he ended up talking to Madam Web. Madam Web like, shit, I don't know what shorty at, for real. All of a sudden, Madam Web Dang. like, oh, this land pimp, here you go. Here she go right here. This nigga gotta go through a whole nother space-time continuing shit to save her. He get her. Then, at the end of the show, he like, oh yeah, let me take off my mask. Mary Jane, this really me. I really love you. I really want to be with you. Will you marry me? And she's like, yes, yeah, that's how Mary Peter, if this is really you, what else have you really been hiding from if me? If this First is all, really bitch, you, dare you ask me, what have I been hiding from you, you stanky ass bitch? Do you not see how this is a third? Let's be honest, Peter didn't oh, have to get with dang. it. He, he really didn't. There were so many more other viable options that Spider Man could have ended up with. But we got Mary Jane Watson. <laughs> Yo, this man might, he like this boy took major L's, duck. Major L's. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Hey, the mystery's in the history, I guess. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Now, to me personally, when I think of a relationship and I think of, you know, a happy ending, when I think of a person I want to have children with, build my family with, right? The one thing I don't think about, I want to be happy. And I'm sorry. The reality of Shorty going straight off the the, the top rope, swanton bombing, just for me to save her to prove I love her. What if my webs didn't work that day? She would die. It would 
have been Amazing Spider-Man 1.0. Oh Cause this would have came out before the Amazing Spider-Man. I always think back to this and I'm like, bro, Mary Jane was really toxic. And on top of her being really toxic, Peter was really stupid. Like you got <laughs> other options out there. Why are you settling for this? Cause don't get me wrong, Mary Jane was fine, oh, but I'm Black talking. Cat was finer. There were other women that he could have been like, cool, let's do it. And he chose that. No, I don't know. I, he I, chose I that. About that, bro. I just I, think about disbelief, but he chose that. The fact that he he was like, you know what? This is what I want for real. I want to be in a toxic relationship for the rest of my life with somebody who was with my best friend, somebody who kissed somebody behind my back. And also, Ooh. I had to go through a whole lot of shit to be with. Now, I know all relationships aren't perfect. They all don't start at a good place, right? There's ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster. But it, th what the fuck was this? This <laughs> carrot. Yo, oh my god. <laughs> that was dope. We watched that dope. Shh, here, that that went. Oh, that, well, went ah, that, that went crazy. Yo, my man's brought up validness, just straight validity. That was ridiculous, bro. There were no lies told. It don't matter what universe this lady in. It's just all bad. <laughs> and that that kind of toxicity coupled with the Peter stupidity is just... just da, 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 da. But yeah, man. Good shit. That's the take. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that dead social media. And I catch y'all next, man. Peace.